The Pilbara. A region in Western Australia known for its vast mineral deposits. A region that mining group Rio Tinto has been extracting iron ore from since the 1960s. When it was time to develop their first greenfield site in over a decade, they recognised the opportunity to approach it in a way that simply wasn't possible before, integrating state-of-the-art technology into the DNA of the operation. And they knew that working closely with an OEM from the beginning would be key to the project's success. It really started in January 2017. We sat down with Rio Tinto and talked about what could a collaborative relationship really look like? And ultimately, what would the mine in the future look like? And what would we do together to collaborate to create that? We set out with a vision for Gudadari to be the most technologically advanced mine for Rio Tinto in the Pilbara. And what we were really looking for was not only the machines themselves, but the automation. And we were looking for a company that we could partner with in developing further automation. What was nice about that is they had a vision of what they wanted, but they weren't specifying exactly how Caterpillar needed to build that. They were willing to work with us and go back and forth on, this is the end goal we want, but what can Caterpillar do to help us reach that goal? And what is the right thing to do to help reach that goal? As a result of this early collaboration, Caterpillar and Rio Tinto agreed to move forward together with the convergence of machines and technologies that the mining industry had never seen before. As we moved forward through the development, we put together a governance structure. That allowed the teams to come together on a regular basis to show the current results, to ensure that Rio Tinto had a voice into the product, to give us feedback either at a technical level or an application level, to make sure that we were collaborating in a way that was beneficial to both sides. I must say it's been one of the most productive partnerships that we've been part of. Caterpillar is positioned out on site, run teams that are willing to go out, be a part of the operations team, and work on behalf of the customer to ensure that the mining operation runs smoothly and that they get the most productivity out of their site. Those run teams provide a conduit to Caterpillar engineers and developers to really understand how the product's being applied and used in the marketplace being able to get data back from the customer as soon as possible so that we can iterate on the solution and know quicker when things aren't working and be able to capitalize on the things that are working well. That is what makes us successful. We put in place a maintenance partnership agreement with Westrack to help us maintain all of our Caterpillar machines. So we have a team of mechanicians and technicians that work within the uh, Rio MEM team. Definitely doesn't feel like it's an us and them scenario with everyone got a bit of skin in the game to ensure that the fleet performs at its optimum. We're operating 19 autonomous haul trucks. What we really like is the safety aspect of the CAT autonomous system. We feel that our operators are very safe when they're here in the pit interacting with the machines. They know that if you get in the wrong place, that the truck is looking out for obstacles and it will stop. Autonomous haulage is taking the operator out of the high-risk work areas and having them in, in a, a safer environment. We have a remote operating centre down in Perth and that's where all of our fleet management, our drills, our trucks, our water carts, our fixed plant are all operated from about 15, 1,600 kilometres away. We certainly have been ramping up the productivity of the trucks. Machines don't need to have crib bakes or any of those sorts of things, so they can keep going. You do see an impact in improved reliability because it's a consistent operating tempo, so you don't see that variability in different operators' driving styles. So you get a more consistent approach as to the way the trucks are used. Gudadari mine is very low in water. We have to pipe the water from some distance away, so what we really liked was Caterpillar's proposal to look at automating water carts that can deliver just the right amount of water, not too much and not too little, at the right time. 
early in the process, we sat down and really asked how Rio would want to use a water truck. And once we got a little bit of a framework put together for the application of the water truck, we sent people to site that rode with water truck operators to really understand on a day-to-day -day basis what were the operators doing. And that opportunity allowed us to get to a better design quicker. Developing the automated water cart has been one of the best and most successful automation projects that we've been able to do here at Rio Tinto. We turned on the water carts and they ran first time. They've been delivering water where we need them to deliver water and doing what we want them to do. So next with Good to Dietary is really to let the product mature in that space. We'll continue to develop both the MindStar product and the autonomous water cart, making sure that we've got the best solution on the market. It's been a fascinating mine to be involved with. We've been able to focus on bringing in new technology and also focus on what we wanted for our people. We really want to encourage our people to feel that they are able to come up with ideas and we can implement those as we go along and continue working with partnerships such as the one with Caterpillar and with Westtrack. Now that we have those relationships in place and the trust both ways, it's really opening up, okay, what's the next big horizon? What, what do we take next? Rio Tinto set out to make this the most technologically advanced mine in the Pilbara for us and I think we've done pretty well in achieving that. We've introduced the world first autonomous water cart. We operate autonomous trucks, autonomous drills. We are working on an autonomous refueling system for the trucks and, and water carts as well. And we've done a lot in the data and reporting space through working with Mindstar. When you think about Rio Tinto, they're very much a leader in everything they do. And we're just really pleased to be able to work with somebody that has that kind of talent and experience and background. And then to bring what we have and, and mixing that together, really has created some pretty amazing results.